stopped. This is... PSF 64. My real voice. And this is my SPFX mask collection. I have five. I have actually the original old man, which may have started the craze for old men masks over the years. I got this in probably, what, 2005. Yeah, the fit is great, but, uh, you know, technology, painting technology has really changed over the years and has improved. So, uh, this is it. There it is. By the way, I'm making this video because I have been peppered consistently over the years uh, about showing my mass collection. So this is going to be like part one of God knows how many. Um, the next one is going to be, will be um, CFX masks, followed by probably more than one latex masks, masks which I have to dig out of storage because um, they go back way back into the 90s maybe even the 80s, I'm not sure. But let me tell you that the old man, this one, the original SPFX old man, again, which probably started the old, old man craze, um, was in 2005, and at the same time I bought this one, which is the Vampire. Again, look at it. Uh, painting technology has really changed. By the way, the cat, my cat jumps up. Hey, Fred. Um, don't pay him, no mind. Um, he's a camera hound. And there he goes, laying down. So I bought this one at the same time I bought the old man. Uh, I actually remember how much I paid for them at the time. Um, they were five and a quarter each and obviously no hair obviously they are very glossy um, but they're classics at this point classics and I wouldn't give them up for anything uh, the, the, the fit on the old man is actually quite good as well as the movement um, the vampire hmm, little, well, at least for me, very oversized. And I don't have a small head. So, you know, I don't use them very much. Um, they're more display pieces at this point. So, there, there you have it. The next mask I got was the thug. He was Probably 2006, maybe 2007, not sure, but he's been around a long time. Obviously, SPFX uh, refined their painting techniques to, you know, reduce the amount of gloss on the masks. And um, with the thug, they they experimented with the you know, using less silicone, making the, the mask, masks 
thinner. Um, it works up to a point. It is also oversized, at least for me. Um, I'm sure other thug vampire owners would disagree with me. But for me, they're oversized, not very tight, not very form-fitting. But again, they are classics. This one, unfortunately, is a little damaged under the nose. There is a rip. Uh, need to figure out how to get, get it repaired at some point. Or, I have a thought, video thought, an evil video thought, um, which I really don't want to get into. Uh, it's basically destroying it. The next mask, and, oh, kitty, sorry. You need to, I know you like it there, but, meow. Yeah. Um, was the thug, I'm sorry, not the thug, the player, and I also got the gloves to go with it. Um, much heavier, much thicker than uh, all the other ones. Um, really great look though, but the eyes, well, you know, being Caucasian. Um, I need glasses, sunglasses all the time, so um, it has looks. By the way, you, you, <coughs> excuse me, the, the old man, the thug, and the player, I believe, have all shown up in my video channel. Um, actually, really nice mask. Just needs, again, a little oversized in scale, but tighter fitting because it is thicker, um, which is good. Um, really like it. So. And the last SPF mask I got is the Inbred. And it really needs to be rehaired. Most of the hair has fallen off or fallen out. Um, really nice fit. Not as tight as I would like it to be, but a really nice fit. Great movement. And by the way, I get great movement out of the old man um, thug. Uh, not, not so much out of the vampire or, or, or the player, um, I think. But, uh, you know, the inbred, kind of cool, different look, um, interesting, um, really enjoy wearing it um, when I get a chance, which is not as often as I'd like. Um, so, yeah, this represents, and let's not forget,
hope you like them. The next video will be of CFX masks that I've collected uh, and still do collect. So, there you have it. Enjoy. Thank you very much for watching and supporting my channel. Yeah, bye.